Okay, in this quick tutorial, I just want to share a method of setting up a timed slideshow presentation in Final Cut Pro 10. And basically, what we're going to do, we're going to bring in 20 slides that will run for 20 seconds each. This is the format that's used often for Petra Kucha talks, so for quick fire presentations. I mean, if you search for Petra Kucha online, then you'll find a lot of different talks that, that use this format. Okay, so basically, we're going to import 20 slides or images, create a new project, and show you how to get the timing of those slides right. So First thing is we'll go to the desktop on my computer here and we've got 20 images that we're going to use as slides here. So we'll just quickly drag these across into Final Cut Pro. And then we'll go ahead and create a new project. Okay, now we're going to create it at 720p, so 1280 by 720, which is a nice size to work with, not too big, it's not going to cause you any upload problems. And we'll just call this slideshow presentation. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our 20 images. Now the default duration for each of these images when we place them on the timeline is going to be 10 seconds and that's really the thing we want to change. So you can see here that we've got our slides running up to 10, 20, 30 seconds. Okay, so we want to get the timing of those right. So I'm just going to use the shortcut Shift and Z to zoom to my whole timeline. Now if I drag across and select all of these, or use Command and A, I can use the duration function to change the duration of all of these in one go. This is also useful if you're doing something like a stop motion animation where you wanna set your frames to a particular duration as well. But in this case, we're setting them to a long duration for a presentation. So if we go to Modify, Change Duration, and you can see the shortcut for this is Control and D, then this central timecode viewer will turn blue, okay? And that indicates that we're now allowed to type in here. So we want to type in 20 and then a full stop or period. And then that will set the duration to 20 seconds for each of these slides. So if we hit enter now, you can see that everything got a little bit longer. And if I do shift and Z to zoom the whole timeline, you can see that I'm running these slides at exactly 20 seconds. Okay. Now another thing um, with these slides as well is that the, the scale of them is... Uh, meaning there is a black bar at the side of each of these frames, okay, which I want to get rid of. So I'm going to keep them selected um, and make a scale change to all these clips in one go. So I'm just going to pull this up, okay, and, and we'll come up to about 120%. All these images are the same size, so it's relatively straightforward to do this. And then all I would need to do um, with my slides once I've set that is just go through and make sure things are framed right. So um, I can use the transform button here to go through my slides and just check that everything is framed right and that I don't want to move anything around, okay? If I do need to move something, then with this transform button turned on, I can just drag things around and reposition them, reframe them. Okay, so that's how to set the duration to 20 seconds and then also how to reposition and rescale your slides. Let's now have a look at how we add a a transition to each of these slides. So we're just going to come to our video transitions here. If you don't see the transitions window, then just click on this little button here and we will use a movement transition. So we'll use the, the push slider here. Okay. And we'll drag this onto one edit point. Okay. Now, if we select this, okay, we can change the orientation of it so that it's moving left to right, top to bottom, right to left, etc. And then once we've got this just how we want it, we can copy it. And again, we can use the, the paste function. So I'm going to select all of these and then do Command V and it will paste that transition to all my elements. So really what we're looking at here is ways that we can do mass changes on our timeline in Final Cut Pro. Okay, so we've set the duration of each of these slides, we've added a transition to each of the slides without having to go through every single edit point. The last thing I want to show you is the voiceover tool. So if we were doing this presentation, uh, we might be doing it live in a Petra Kucha talk or a different presentation format. Um, we could export out the video, which we'll, we'll look at in a second. Um, but if we wanted to save out a version which had our recorded voiceover, we can set up our presentation in Final Cut Pro 10 and then go to Window and Record Voiceover. And this will enable us to record a voiceover straight into Final Cut Pro. So if we hit Record now, it's going to count us in. 
and we can be begin to record our voiceover and it's going to play through the slides as we talk about them. So you can see this is a really quick way of getting a, a presentation ready with a voiceover on top. And obviously because it's Final Cut, we have the ability to go in and edit that voiceover, make changes to it, or do a second take of the voiceover as well, um, and then edit different versions of that voiceover together. Okay, so we have a lot of flexibility here that I really like about creating a presentation within Final Cut Pro. Okay, so we'd look at one last thing. I just stopped this voiceover for the moment. You can see it's recorded my voice here. We can see the waveform. So the next thing we'll have a look at is exporting. So if we just click on the share button across here on the right hand side, we'll share a master file. And in the master file, just jump to the settings and make sure you're exporting out H.264. That will be a format that will easily upload to YouTube or to Vimeo or to another video platform online. Okay, so that's how quickly to set up a slideshow. If you have any questions about this or other editing techniques in Final Cut Pro, then please don't hesitate to send me a tweet at Ben Housel and look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.